Shortcut version 25.01.05 have some great new features. I'm sure it will help your editing be more effective and efficient and there are also some feature enhancements as well. So let's dive in and find out. The first thing is related to managing your files and there are two. One of it is the addition of bins in the playlist. Within the playlist, you can now have bins and you can create your own bins to manage your media. Let's do what? Now, there are a few ways you can do this. One way is to say create a bin based on the type of uh, format of your media. For example, you may want to have a video bin. Okay, uh, but that is not really necessary because there are tabs at the top that, that allows you to filter for a video uh, by itself. Alright, so however, if you still want to have a video bin, you can still create that. And let's say you may want to have a bin for uh, audio or certain type of background music, you can do that as well. Again, there are tabs here, so you may not want to uh, do this. So by selecting, say, uh, audio, so all the audio files will come up uh, filtered for you, so you don't have to go digging around in your computer. Now, if you want to categorize it, uh, by all means, you can do that. You can just drag your video or your audio into, say, the audio bin, and then it's there in the audio bin. Uh, let's say don't click this and say you want to move all your videos to the video bin you can do that as well okay so there are ways you can filter this however i find that perhaps you may want to use it uh, this way say for example you may have a bin for say camera one you may have captured your footage using um, a main camera and then you have a uh, footage from say a drone or a second camera uh, you can then put those in uh, in this type of bins and then it gets uh, easier to organize your media now next is the additional of this uh, tab called files if you click on it now you have be able to see all your files and uh, for me uh, i like to drag this over to this side so now my files and my playlist are all in one location it also makes uh, assessing your files so much easier so let's say for example i have my video and uh, these are the clips that I want to use. Uh, one great way to use it is to say you go to your bin itself and, and you can just click on the video. All right. So let, let's say you want to use this video. You can switch back to your playlist and uh, add, either drag this down or add this into your playlist by adding uh, the source to the playlist. All right. So very fast and nifty. Uh, you don't need to exit shortcut and go uh, looking in your windows folder to look for files this so this way it can be more effective and efficient uh, as you edit your videos i really like this uh, new feature this both files and playlist next there is a new filter for called the gradient filter so let's just drag this clip onto my timeline and let's just use this all right so let's go to filters and click on gradient map You can have some defaults, for example, you may want to have Sapir if you want to, or you may have a Thermal, these are the default, and uh, this default allows you to create something like say uh, IR or infrared camera uh, effect. So now uh, you can look at something as if maybe you are the predator in the video, the kind of view, so you can do something like this. Alright, so this is the gradient map. So this is the first uh, effect which is on uh, video now there are also some changes to the uh, audio fade let's dive into this so this is my audio file and let's go to filters and let's go to add a fade in video so now uh, with the fade in and fade out video there is uh, something called a type so the natural will be the uh, fade that ha happens gradually more like a slope like this all right. Now there are three other types that you can use. One is called an S curve, which means the music will be soft and then it goes loud uh, quite fast and then it starts to taper off. All right. Alternative is you can also have something fast, which means the music will be uh, loud at the beginning and then it kinds of tapers off. When it comes to slow fast, which means the music will be very soft at the beginning and then it gets uh, quite loud uh, at the uh, later stage towards this point. So you can try this out with some music and 
try which one you prefer uh, so it uh, enhances the options of, for your video and this is available for fade in as well as for fade out audio there is also some new changes in terms of exporting your video for hardware encoding if you are using an arm based cpu arm cpu uh, there are some laptops which are based on arm chips now no longer uh, amd or intel so you can use that for encoding this is h.264 uh, underscore mf and h uh, vec mf so if you're not sure and let's say you want to export your video what you can do is go to uh, your hardware encoder go to export hardware encoder you can actually configure it so and ask shortcut to detect whether you have the right hardware so this will be the one and well as well as this one HVAC AMF so if you have those type of computers now uh, shortcut can uh, export using this hardware configuration finally there's a lot of uh, improvements as well for example the playlist uh, being able to generate slideshow with trim video clips so it helps you to make a montage uh, there's also a scrub bar and timeline keyframes and a lot of other things that i wouldn't be able to cover in this video now i hope that this video has helped you if you like it do give it a thumbs up and share it by the way if you want to learn shortcut fast i have a training on shortcut check out the link in the description it is the official shortcut training course and stay tuned for the next shortcut tip